All right, here we go with your planner. Next several days coming up right in through the weekend. And of course, a lot of you will be out hitting the roadways for the Thanksgiving holiday coming up. Some of you have already left and are on the way. Saturday forecast into the northeast. More lake effect snow, especially off of Erie and Ontario, farther to the northwest. A disturbance strong enough, so there's some fairly heavy snow up along uh, the ridge of the Cascades in Washington State. Um, about three to six inches of snow. Snow levels up around 4,000 feet should be rising up to around 6,000 feet as we go through the next uh, day or two here into the weekend. As we look at the uh, Thursday temperatures for some reason, Sharon, could you uh, see if you can get me Sunday forecast on my planner? For some reason, we jumped ahead to the Thursday temps there in. We're in the weather part right here. Let's see if what we got here for us. Let's see. Thursday temps and, well, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Try it now. Let's see what we have for Thursday. Yes. Okay, Monday. You know what? That's uh, pretty close here. Uh, let me see if I can back it up one and we'll try this and get into Sunday. There we go. All right. Computers have not been behaving too well tonight. Anyhow, we have this weak disturbance traveling across the Midwest, dropping southeast. It's going to run into a ridge of high pressure, and that is going to eat up a lot of the moisture there. Farther to the south, though, by the time we get into Sunday, we have a moisture uh, starting to pour off the Gulf of Mexico, places like Houston up to Little Rock you'll have your chance of some rain coming in. Looking ahead to your Monday forecast, rain tries to spread over the southeast. One of the issues is, is that this is a very dry area and we think this will be the weak link here. Maybe down to New Orleans you'll pick up some rain or storm. Maybe to Birmingham, but Atlanta, Greenville, Spartanburg, probably not too much. Much of the west, San Francisco, Phoenix, Denver staying dry. Tuesday forecast showing the pattern that we've seen for a while. More snow flurries coming off the lakes. Cleveland right over to Pittsburgh and into Wednesday. You're finding more chances of rain in the southwest with another upper air disturbance coming in. Then Thanksgiving Day, maybe some rain toward Texas, over toward Dallas. All right, that's the weather pattern. Let's take a look at the temps. All right, let's hope this one's going to work. Let's take you through your Saturday, and we'll find the colder air in place across the northern tier, uh, specifically the northern Great Lakes. And look at New England. Lots and lots of 20s here across really a good chunk of the northeast, not just New England, but even some teens all the way up into northern sections of New England. And the 40s continue to drop down into portions of the southeast after a very chilly night. Some of you dipping on into the teens and 20s going into North Georgia. So a lot of cold air to be found, that's for sure. Heading through your Sunday, some 30s and some 40s across the north. Uh, watching some slightly warmer air trying to bulge northward here as we travel across the Plain States. Generally speaking, though, we have the cold air that is in place. And